Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11 talking to you on a very windy day. I apologize for the wind noise. I wanted to film this video outside of my garage, but unfortunately I can't because you wouldn't be able to hear me. So, if you are a Jeep Cherokee XJ owner, you probably know this. The headlights, well at least on the American models in the USA, the headlights are awful. They're a sealed beam headlight. They are just, at nighttime you can barely see anything. I pretty much had to put my brights on just to see in town. Um, so anyway, I decided I was looking at some aftermarket options. You know, there's HID kits that are out there. I wanted to get something that was road legal, something that would be relatively inexpensive, and I found these. Uh, Hellavision Plus headlights. I bought these with my own money on Amazon. I think I paid about 45 bucks per uh, light, maybe 40 bucks per light per side. Um, basically, what you get is the, uh, the bulb. I'm sorry. You get the enclosure with the bulb inside of it. Now, this is a sealed beam. This is an old headlight that I took out of my Jeep that I keep around for an absolute emergency. And what's cool about these light bulbs is that this, this enclosure is designed to be used with a much more powerful bulb. Okay, You get a 60, 55 watt, well let me check and see what my iPad says here, um, 9003 series HBT, HB2 bulb. And the plugs on the back of your stock headlights literally go right on the back of the bulb after you install them. Installation, it's not too hard. It was kind of a pain getting the screws out to get everything off. I had some trouble finding a, a screwdriver head that would actually fit the screws with the Jeep. Um, I think they were just Phillips, but they were just a weird size. It took me about an, an hour to install these. And I'm telling you guys, the difference is like night and day. These are glass enclosures. They do have a little hole in the bottom that allows them to vent. So you can sometimes get condensation in them, but it does actually dry. They've got a real shiny back to them. I've had these for almost no, not about two and a half years. I think March of 2016 will make three years. And at nighttime, it's amazing. My wife and I, as soon as we got these bulbs in, we just took off and went out in the middle of nowhere. We were just going down country roads, and you could see reflectors um, on people's driveways for miles away. And it was almost as if the lights were twice as bright. Um, off the top of my head, I can't tell you what the wattage is for the sealed bulb, but the HB2 bulb that you get is 12 volts. Um, it's a 60 watt high, 55 watt low, but you're also getting a much higher quality enclosure. Um, I believe the bulbs and the lenses are German made. So if you got a Cherokee XJ or a Cherokee Sport, you got to look into these. Um, these are, uh, I'll give you the size, they are 7 and 7 eighth inches by 5 and 5 eighth um, inches in uh, size for the enclosures themselves. And let me give you the metric on that because when you search on Amazon, you might have to look at the metric. It's a Hella Vision Plus 190 uh, millimeter by 132 millimeter high low beam 12 volt halogen conversion headlamp HB2. So like I said, they're awesome. Another advantage to these when they burn out, you know, I still have to take the whole enclosure out, but now I can just change out the back bulb. Okay, before I used to throw away the old ones, but the replacement bulbs are like seven or eight bucks. And at my local auto parts store, even my local Walmart, the sealed beams are like 15 or $16. So let me see, I'm getting better light for less money, less waste overall, uh, higher quality lens in my opinion. It's pretty much a no brainer. So if you're a Cherokee owner, Drop a hundred bucks, get the lights. I mean, safety is one of those things that you really, you know, should not put a price on when it comes to this vehicle. I mean, chances are you don't have ABS, you don't have traction control, you don't have yaw control. Uh, you're using airbags that are 15 years old. The least you can do is give yourself some decent lights so you can see, okay? All right, so anyway, if you like my channel, it's uh, Travis P11, and uh, please like, subscribe. I'm going to be making another quick video here about what you need to know about replacing your headliner. I'm not going to show you how to do it. There's already great videos on YouTube about it, but if you're thinking about it, I just want to give you a heads up on what you're getting yourself into, okay? So this was very simple. No harnesses needed to be cut. You can buy aftermarket light harnesses that will give you more light. Um, I just kept my stuff stock. I didn't want to mess with it. And the difference is, is awesome. I mean, you'll notice it when you're out in the middle of nowhere, really dark road, fresh black pavement. With these headlights, you will at least be able to see where you're going without having to put your brights on. Maybe you don't think about it that much, but I do a lot of driving early in the morning when I go to work, and it's sometimes dark when I get home. So there you go, guys. Like, subscribe, Travis P11. Um, I'll be bringing you a few more Jeep videos. Nothing too crazy, but just some basics that you need to know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Uh, have fun, be safe, and I will talk to you soon.